I had carried around a weight um, for much longer than I needed to. Uh, but I, I, I wasn't doing anything about it. Um, and it would, it, it was just getting heavier and heavier. Um, it got, well, I'm 28 now, it got re really bad at about 15, um, and then by the time I was 18, I, I had already gone into the doctor, um, they had put me on antidepressants, but they weren't necessarily beneficial at the time, or I don't know. Uh, I was pretty young. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I also like I had really had like diet problems, um, and just really no energy ever, and I just became more and more awkward. Feeling I just uh, I it was too confusing to really know what was going on. But it just became like a 24-7 thing. Like, uh, I was yeah. so, so depressed that even, I was even de depressed by myself in the dark. Like, I couldn't even, I couldn't be around myself. Or like, I couldn't, to yeah. be inside my body was such a trap. I remember, like, I would brush the the hair in front of my face at night so that even in my sleep, if, like, that I was hidden from myself or, like, I just couldn't, like, I mean, paranoia of even people just, like, looking at me and stuff, so, so that's also why I didn't speak up about it. I did have people try to reach out, but, like, I, I was... I, I felt there was nothing that they could do, um, and that there was no way that I could make people understand, uh, especially when it, I was always dealing with it, this, this weight, and then, so then I was about 22 when I first, I guess, uh, became suicidal, um, but at that time, I had too many friends, like, people that were close and actually cared about me to really, uh, um, I guess, follow through with it. It's, but I, uh, I cut them off. So instead of, and I, like, I had friends that would show up at the house and be like, like, man, like, how's it going? Do you need to talk and stuff? But I ended up just making it harder and harder and harder for people to get to me because I just didn't, I don't know, I, I was too tired to really have them around. And so, yeah, I then pushed all my friends away till I was completely alone. And then when I was actually 26, that's when I uh, tried to go through with it and... Um, yeah. yeah. And now, are, like, what's your perspective now on that? Like, where, where, yeah, where I'm at now, um, I mean, it's been up and down and in and out of, I guess, uh, counseling and just support groups. And the biggest thing is, I would say, is I am at a place where I have made, uh, like, a conscious decision to just um, to face my fears, I guess, and actually uh, be a part, like actively be a part of a support group and go to counseling for my mental health. Because really what it comes down to is that, um, yeah, people can reach out, but n they can't make it better for me the, I have to, it starts with me actually, it, um, I guess, yeah, tr uh, yeah, having to face it, 
because you can you can't run right. f run for forever. I mean, you can try, but it just I, I don't know when not dealing with it. I just got bad habits. Um, then like self medication and stuff like that, trying to balance things out. I don't know. Just really, it just it goes downhill when I don't try to take care of it. Um, For sure, yeah. Getting Yeah. I mean, and it, it was a lot of just learning, too. And it was scary. But then also understanding that, like, I do need friends. And I would get lonely at times. And I even remember, like, like just being so sad and crying. And it's like, I miss... I'm, I miss my friends. And then... And I would just crash at times like that, but then I would flip around, and then it would like, and then it would be like, no, like, I I don't actually want anybody around, and so it's like an like an inner yeah. struggle of, yeah, I do want to talk about it, I do want to, be on top of it, but it it is hard, um, right, but, yeah, uh, it it has gotten easier. I, I can't say that much, um, but it's just a matter of just keeping on top of things, uh, finding out what what works, um, and especially from not facing it or dealing with things, I didn't know what worked for me, um, and it, I would pretend most of the time that I was okay, so... And that wasn't, that's not helping anyone. That's not helping me. Because then if you pretend for too long that you're okay, then how are you really supposed to? It's like you lose touch with your actual self. Right. So right. that's, right. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You have to face mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now well, that I've been reaching, reaching yeah. out, um, it's just... It's where my heart is at, really. Uh, yeah. I've I've just once I started I, I prior to kind of reaching out and speaking up, I never would have thought that I ever would be. I guess that kind of person that is like, I don't know. It, it just didn't seem like something I would do. I I don't know why I thought so negatively about reaching out and speaking up it's but I mean it's done a world of difference like I, I would say that would be the biggest thing um well after if for if for anyone who's struggling first of all uh get help and actually be honest about what's going on um because unless you're being totally honest people can't read your mind um so then how are they going to help you? Let me ask you a, just a practical question. So are you doing this like as an interview? What, do you have like a blog? What, what, what would this be for? Yeah. Um, Switching gears. Yeah, for sure. Now, now it's on me. <laughs> um, yeah, for like a... I just wanted... I started... And I had people interviewing me, I guess, through Project Semicolon, because um, I had helped Amy with that. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, because she first had contacted me through YouTube, and that's how we had kind of, uh, like, I was also making um, YouTube videos for her and stuff like that, and the response I just got was just so so overwhelming and encouraging that I then have gone on since then and spoken to different bands where sat down with different artists or different different people who 
I mean, have all sorts of struggles, but in the end, it's they're all talking about mental health and suicide prevention, and it's just, uh, I've just been doing it as a part of, I guess, my outreach as a musician, and um, just to really encourage people. <laughs> I guess that's really just the end goal. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, just to kind of share with people um, and spread the word. Wait, you'll send me the link. Send me the link, too, because I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah, and I really wanted to help out in any way I could uh, to get the word out about this movie. Um, I love it. It's wonderful. I, I, I love everything about it. Uh, Aww, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for, like, actually pursuing it. And, um, yeah. It, it needs to be made, I guess. Uh, oh, well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. And, yeah, you know, keep following up on the project and, you know, we'll do you have any more questions or anything? I didn't want to cut you off on that. Yeah, no. More I did want to know, like, are you, you had talked about starting maybe, like, another Kickstarter? Or... No. No? No, I don't think we're going to do another Kickstarter, no. But what we have is, we have a 501 which is basically something that if people want to continue to donate, they can. It's, okay. Uh, through the IDA. But if they go to our Kickstarter, um, it'll there'll be a button where they can continue to to get um, to donate and uh, have it as a tax write off. Okay. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. it's for sure I the goal, it's... Tell you, and you're, you know, you're turning these struggles inside out, you know, and hmm. just helping other people, and I really appreciate that. Hmm. Yeah, thank you. Hmm. Well, thanks for doing what you do, you know, thanks for doing what you're doing, and, you know, just kind of stick around, okay? Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. <laughs> you have an awesome day. Oh. You do the same in uh, Chilliwack. Yeah. That's what it's called Chilliwack. It's a small town, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. It, I mean, it's not super small, but it it did start out pretty, pretty small. But in within the last 10 years, we've... Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it, right. it's... Well, that area, that area, yeah. People oh. need to live there. Too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just, just Vancouver and surrounding areas. It's so beautiful, so. Yeah. Hmm. Enjoy. Alrighty. I will talk to you later. Okay, I will send you the stuff for you. Okay, cool. Thanks, Dylan. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.